welcome to Kenya Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. Following the agent official discussion at Catholic University of East Africa, Infotrack Research Kenya gathered information, which were distributed not long after. The CHO's VP was spread the word about through surveys before to the August 9 decisions. Justina Wami and Ruth Macheru, both from the Roots Party, filled in as the discussion's initial two VPS. Gachigori Gathi of the UDA party and Martha Karawa of Azimiola Umoha, who got along so indeed, were the new VPS. A large number of Kenyans were tensely anticipating the confrontation between the two as almost certainly, one of them will be chosen as Kenya's next VP. The Han. Rigathi Gachigwa's reactions to questions and way in which he introduced his focuses shocked to many individuals. Marha Karawa was periodically moved by him as he peppered her with testing requests. While the discussion was going on, Martha Karawa bent over backward to keep her ethics in mind. She likewise discussed what she maintained, that the nation should achieve assuming she were decided to be the following VP. Each discussion subject was examined for an hour and a half. Han. Gachigwa of the UDA is driving with 62%, as indicated by Infotrack information. Her fundamental rivals were Justina Wami, who got 8% of the vote, Ruth Macheru, who got 1%, and Martha Karua, who got 29%. This is obviously a huge win for UDA on the grounds that William Ruto and Rigathi are probably going to be picked as Kenya's next chiefs by most of the populace. The impending discussion, which is eagerly awaited, will set William Ruto in opposition to Raila Odinga. In other news, the agent president William Ruto of Kenya Kwanzaa collusion and his thesis rival Raila Odinga are set to clash on August 9 with both, having picked the running mates from the vote-rich Mount Kenya district. On Tuesday night, their running mates Rigathi Gachagwa, Kenya Kwanzaa, and Martha Karua, Azimio, had an amazing chance to tell Kenyans their arrangements for the feeble economy, defilement and typical cost for most everyday items. Extremely expressive in their introductions, the two illuminated piece of their separate declarations and what they expect to do should their alliances win. Requested on the source from funds for their missions, the KA competitor Rigathi said that their missions are financed by well-wishers. We are bringing assets from individuals up with regards to material, fuel, choppers, vehicles and workforce, the Kenya Kwanzaa crusade is base up-driven, he said. On her part, Karawa too expressed that the choppers they use in their missions are given by companions. The media houses then gathered information to check the popularity of the two wannabes. In all the media houses, results showed that the agent president William Ruto's running mate Rigathi Gachagwa is ahead by which he got 46% in KTN, 61% in resident, 67% in NTV and 74 in Kenya Koki. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.